Welcome to the Becker County Master Gardener's Rambling Rose and my name is Linda Prine. Today I'd like to talk to you about some different kinds of insects that get into our home and uh, maybe give you some ideas of how to prevent them from coming in or what to do once they get in and are living with you. Um, first we have pavement ants and that kind of seems unusual to have ants this time of year but um, they somehow get into our homes on the, on, uh, where there's cracks in the foundation, around windows, pipes, they crawl in, in different areas like that. So um, it, they're um, about an eighth inch long, reddish brown, but they can also go from a light brown to a dark brown. And um, like I said, it's like long sidewalks, driveways, brick molding. Um, they'll find any little place to get in and where it's warm. And so different ways to, things that they like to feed on um, are grease, meats, other dead insects, cheese, um, pet food, and that's a good one. You know, people have their pet food in their house or in their garages, and also peanut butter, and they also like sweets. So um, if you do have some ants in your home, um, first thing before you just freak out and <laughs> take care of them um, would be to see where they're coming. If you can see where they're coming from, that will give you the clue of what to do and what to, um, how to control them from coming in um, more and then once you do see them coming in you can get baits and there are different kinds of baits you can go into your local stores and um, some of them are just like a little round cylinder and um, has little you punch the little holes and the ants go in there they get the feed whatever's in there and then they'll take it back to their nest and um, so you want to let them do that and so then they can take it back and share it with the rest of their buddies and and then pretty soon your ant problem will be gone. You can also get other kinds of liquids and put them on um, uh, wax paper or something like that and you'll see them feeding. And, and what they're called, um, the, the guys that take them back, they're the foraging workers. So they're gonna help you out. So um, anyway, that's one way to take care of pavement ants or ants that you do have in your home. Uh, another thing that we can have in our homes, and this is all year round, is fruit flies and their life cycle is about one week. And um, they can lay up to like 500 eggs at one time. So um, that's a lot of fruit flies and a lot. Of, and so what you need to do is, um, hot, what they're attracted to is uh, overripe fruit and veggies, even the residue like in your sink, food residue in a sink, garbage disposals, trash containers, um, floor drains and like if you have recycling in your home um, or in your garage or wherever they like to if you haven't rinsed out your containers well like in the cans in the bottles all that kind of stuff there's a little bit of food there and they're going after that and even in mops and in uh, cleaning rags that you've used for wiping up in your um, in your kitchen or wherever anyway um, the most effective control of course is um, finding the food source and maybe there was an onion or potato that rolled out of the bucket that's under your sink or something, but start looking and, and looking for that. Um, that's the only way they could live is by having that kind of a um, food. And um, also make sure that you clean like that gunk that gets out of your in your sink. Um, they can um, feed on that. Uh, there are insecticides, but they really have a limited value and are really short term so best thing to do is to find the source and one of the ways is by trapping them and you can take a plastic a plastic wrap put it over your drain cover and overnight and next morning it might be just full of the adult flies they've come up and are in there and you have trapped them and that's one way then you know that you've got a problem in your garbage disposal or in your sink another way is to take um, uh, cider vinegar and put it in a jar and just make a cone, a funnel out of paper and stick that into the jar and they will come in, go in and um, go after the cider and so they think they're getting a real good snack there. So anyway that's another way of uh, baiting them and um, or otherwise if you don't have the vinegar you can also put in a banana, a piece of a banana or some fruit that's starting to go bad. So just a couple ideas of how to take care of some of those little friends that come and visit you and 
Uh, thank you for tuning in to the Becker County Master Gardeners Rambling Rose, and we'll talk to you again soon. Have a good day.